So, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. We are at Shin Aomori Station, about to head on a train to Sapporo. It's snowing hard. Traveling from Amori to Sapporo, which is on the island of Hokkaido, we have a short stop in Hakodate to change trains. To get from the mainland to the island, there's a 53 kilometer train tunnel underwater. minutes before our next train which takes us into Sapporo arrives. Uh, one thing you can definitely tell when you first get to Hokkaido Island is it is cold. So I think it's roughly about minus seven at the moment. Everywhere you look just white. And just waiting for the train it is snowing hard. How nice is that? Don't see that often. So we've just changed over to another train from Hakodate to Sapporo. This train is not a wall train, so it takes about three and a half hours to get to Sapporo. So yeah, just relax, have a sandwich, and sit out the journey. and you see on the map that you've got to go from here to here and it normally takes about an hour with the bullet train from here to here in Hokkaido it took three and a half hours it just felt like we went the scenic way but it was nice and comfortable and it was warm on the train and we got to see a lot of Hokkaido it was nice but we're here so we just got to go for a short walk to the hotel we're just going to find where it is just checked into the hotel and it's pretty good so because we booked it only yesterday we got stuck with two single beds, but they're pretty big singles. Uh, not much of a view, but we're not gonna be in a room anyway. There is the shower and toilet, pretty big bathroom actually. I think we're just gonna head down to downtown Sapporo and uh, check it out. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna get something to eat. Um, Ooh, maybe curry soup could be the thing because it's nice and cold outside. So, I've left the hotel, We're just going for a stroll down towards Adori Park. Oh, 
all these cops. Look at the snow. It's cold, like, my nose is cold. My lips are cold. My lips actually feel numb, like I can't talk properly. Oh, maybe we'll have to head inside for a little bit. We've only been out for about five minutes. I wonder how cold it was, and I found a sign that says negative 3.2, baby. So we just figured out that as soon as you go down that Sapporo station, there's like this massive underground, uh, like I guess tunnel under the city. It's massive. And everyone gets around because it's so cold down here. So to get to Dory Park, we're walking down here. It's, it's got to be like this tunnel. Well, how long do you reckon? It's got to be like at least a K or two long. Very long. Um, and it's like a whole other city underground. It's, it's fully like Futurama, like an underground city. It's cool. So anyway, we're heading to Dory Park and. Yeah, we'll see what that looks like. We are at Adori Park, which is a famous park-like strip. It runs along Sapporo, and behind me is Sapporo TV Tower. Oh, let's see. Very nice. 4.44 and you can see how dark it is. But, it is a public holiday here in Japan, so a lot of things are closed. So we're thinking we're going to come back here tomorrow and spend the day going around Sapporo uh, city and check out what that has to offer. So right now we are going to go get a coffee or a hot chocolate. Yeah. Walking by, we've got all these lights, ah, lights on the trees, and they keep changing colour. It's kind of cool. Snowing hard. It's so nice just to walk around at night and snow and I think it's minus four point something at the moment. So it's beautiful just to walk around. But anyway, we are just going to go to a conveni tonight and have a nice easy night tonight before we really hit Sapporo. And I'm looking forward because I haven't eaten anything from conveni since I've been in uh, Japan this time. So I want to get some chicken, some family chicken, and maybe some sandwiches or the uh, the good stuff that you get at the convenience stores. So I think we're going to get a bit of a convenience haul and go back to the hotel room and eat it. But it's, how nice is this? This is the best. So, convenience tonight. It's good. We got excited and got a fair bit of food, which I'm pretty excited for. Mel got our coffee. I'm. I wasn't sure when I first got here. I thought, oh, it's cold. It's going to be a bit bit cold but it's actually really nice like I can understand why people enjoy just like walking out in the snow as long as you rug up it's actually not too bad I think the problem was I didn't have a heap of layers so now that I've been here for you know a few hours went back to the hotel and I've put a thermal on so I've got a singlet then a thermal then a t-shirt over top then a flannel then a jumper and then a jacket and that seems to be the trick I'm nice and Toasty and warm. I love to know like what the uh, temperature is, where that temperature gauge was, because it was Rapidly dropped down the dropping. Yeah, it dropped down there, and then it was four minus four. And I'm wondering what it is now, because it's beautiful. It's really nice. Got to make the most of these times because you don't know in your life when you're going to be able to walk through a city with snow around. So it's really really nice. Don't slip. We thought we'd just have some kombini for dinner. Have a nice relaxing night and get ready. Because oh, oh, oh. I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit chaotic. Oh. Oh. And Saturday morning, we've got a plan for. Oh my god, there's like massive like snowflakes falling everywhere. But we're back at the hotel, so we'll head up and I'll show you what we got. So. Back in the room, and, oh, it's mac and cheese. I got my first egg sando, family mart egg sando. I got this, which reads it is a souffle pancake. No, souffle pudding. What am I saying? Which reads souffle 
pudding. So I've got pudding, and then it's like a souffle pancake on top. Fuck off. And I got two types of chicken. I've got normal family chicken and spicy family chicken. Actually, I'm not sure which is which. So I'm just gonna sit here. Mm. When you come to Japan, you don't realize how good the um, convenience store, convenience store food is, and you think when you get him, you know what, I'm not gonna really probably eat convenience store food because there's so much good ramen and curry and all stuff like that, but then when you have the family chicken <laughs> and sandwiches, how good is it? Mal got, oh, it's minus five outside. Oh, wow. So it's colder than what I thought. This is the famine chicken, this is a spicy famine chicken. It's a bit more crispy. Ooh. It's good. Sorry, I had a mouthful of food. I'm not gonna bore you with eating all this food, but I will show you the souffle pancake, but the egg sando I won't show, because if you wanna see the egg sando, uh, have a look at the video where I go through the convenience store egg sandos. Um, but anyway, I'll quickly show you the uh, souffle pancake and then, uh, yeah, we'll go to tomorrow. All right, the souffle pancake. No, what am I saying? The souffle pudding. Looks pretty good. So it's obviously like a souffle pancake on top with some pudding. Smells good. Mmm, it is good. So it's super fluffy, soft souffle pancake, or the souffle, and it's vanilla pudding. Is it? Is it milk pudding? It's vanilla pudding. It is really good. I haven't had milk pudding yet, but. Mel um, raves about it, so that's another thing I definitely want to try here in Sapporo. I'm actually excited for the f So that pudding is delicious. And one of the best things to do in Japan, you forget about sometimes when you're in a rush to do everything, is sometimes just to kick back, relax, and watch some Japanese game shows. Hilarious. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit back watch some TV and enjoy this pudding and uh, I don't know maybe we'll make this video a two-day video because today was a fair bit of uh, just traveling or we'll start a new video tomorrow I'm not sure I'll see when I edit it how it comes out but anyway if that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one otherwise we'll join up tomorrow bye yeah I wasn't going to say anything about the egg sandos, but it's the first egg sando I've had in this trip and you forget oh, how good they actually are. Mm. Okay, good morning. There's a couple of things in Hokkaido I definitely want to try. I've been looking forward to. Soup curry. There's a place that I wanted to go which they have a couple of branches outside of Sapporo, but I've been waiting till I come to Sapporo, so it's been a year. No, sorry, it's been six month wait. I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, milk bread, so Hokkaido milk bread. Uh, Hokkaido is famous for their bakeries, so I'm definitely going to check out some bakeries. And ramen, there's a couple of good ramen places in Sapporo that I definitely want to try because they do the miso corn butter ramen, which we're definitely going to check out. But anyway, I'm going to get stuck in this pudding.